So this is your basic four band parametric EQ plugin. EQing can be done during or after the recording process. Me specifically, when recording a live instrument, I like to do a little bit of an EQ job while recording just to give it the specific sound I want. Then I really fine tune later on in the process. <laughs> so with the four band parametric EQ, there's four different spots, regions, if you will, that you can raise or lower the frequency, which is the whole idea of EQing. The low frequency, the low mid frequency, the high mid frequency, and the high frequency. Okay. So as you can see, the, um, the all the regions are set in a specific spot within the frequency spectrum by default, although with the frequency knob, it can be moved all around the spectrum if you so choose. It can either be decided by moving the knob like such, or by typing in a specific frequency if you so choose. All the other knobs are used the same exact way. So, let me show you this. The, um, like I showed you before, the gain knob simply boosts or lowers the specific frequency as you so choose. Like working with a bass, you probably want to lower the highs, maybe boost the lows a little bit. And with a guitar, maybe vice versa. But it's all about your preference and the sound you want to create, exactly. So, then the frequency knob, as I showed, moves the uh, spot around the frequency spectrum. And then this knob right here, which is really great, like, um, it then chooses how wide the spectrum of that specific frequency knob is how many different frequencies it affects. As you can tell, you can make it very wide, or you can lower it in and have it really zero down on a specific few frequencies that you don't like. And so, I'm going to show you this through a bass track that I recorded earlier. rid of those highs. <laughs> and then never forget about the bypass button which is up here which shows you how it sounds without any of the compression then just click it again to listen to it with your compression, which is a really great key to make sure you don't over compress or under compress. It just gives you a great example to show you what work you are doing exactly. You can always get in touch with Chris at Wingsound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos, including these titles featuring Pro Tools 8, available on demand at Wingsound.com.